bill? How come we are not seeing it being voiced out? And it's consistent with what you had in Naivasha. There was a retreat in Naivasha. The president instructed that the Kenya Kwanzaa side must pass that bill, come rain, come shine. Mm -hmm. And he was promised, and you showed it here, that by Friday, that bill will be in the Senate. So they're even ahead of their own schedules. That's one. So we were protesting the hurried nature of processing the bill. Number two is in terms of the fundamental issues. When this idea of affordable housing was first brought in the you know, public finance bill, we raised, and I was one of those who raised the idea that it was unconstitutional for so many reasons. They did exactly what they've done now. Mm -hmm. It was hurried. They invoked what we call standing, over, or standing order 95, and then they say, could as many as of that opinion say, I, I, and we won. Mm -hmm. And true to form, the court declared it unconstitutional. And the court declared, among other issues, that you cannot introduce it in the public finance bill. You must have an independent framework. Mm -hmm. What we needed to discuss fundamentally was how then, if we agree the idea of affordable housing is a good idea, how do we get to discuss this in a way that is not unconstitutional? Because remember, it's not just a question of the framework. There are two other fundamental issues that were raised. One, under the Constitution, Schedule 4, Part 1, the national government does not have a role in housing. Its role is to have a housing policy. It, the county governments that have that role. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there was an issue of discrimination. When in that context, uh, it was found that uh, taxing, having a levy only on those who are employed and not the others was discriminatory. Yeah. So we needed to discuss that. that. Those fundamental issues still remain. And as I will demonstrate later, they have now worsened it. That okay. discrimination has extended to be from the person even to the counties. Thirdly, there are conceptual issues. Up to now, and I can demonstrate to you, that whoever has conceived this bill is not clear in their mind whether they want to develop houses which for affordable owning or affordable renting. They have not made up their mind what kind of fund they are creating. They are creating a fund that operates as if it's a circle, as if it's a bank, as if it's an insurance company, as if it's the consolidated fund, as if it's a, a, you know, a, a mama's circle of a merry-go-round. Conceptually, it's completely confused. It is confused in terms of who is to benefit, how they are to benefit. It is confused in terms of how do you get public land that under the Constitution can only be taken for public purposes through the National Land Commission, but yet you are now taking it for private purposes because... This scheme allows you to sell the property to private individuals, including non-Kenyans. How do you do that? As long as they can buy it. As long as they can buy it. Mm -hmm. There are conceptual issues. But more importantly, and that's now what caused us to work out, by yesterday, of course the numbers had come to play, and so they had their way in terms of the second reading. But that just means now the bill could progress further. Now today, in the committee of the whole house, is the technical bit. Even the best intention of persons can make mistakes, honest mistakes. Mm -hmm. So there are mistakes which are not even about what I've talked about earlier. Mistakes that can be corrected, that makes the bill ridiculous if it is passed. Okay. And so a number of us had lined up some very technical and logical, you know, amendments. Yeah. But immediately we came to the house, we realized it was all academic. I think instructions had been given mm -hmm. that there's no amendment from the minority side that, sell that must sail through. So yeah. we realized that we were going to sit there, you are going to raise it, mm -hmm. it was going to be defeated, no one cares, no one listens. Mm -hmm. The more decent thing to do is to use your time as a parliamentarian more effectively by finding other ways of serving your constituents rather than just sitting there. Okay, very interesting. But do we agree that aside from 